Whether you have been to Camp Linden many times or if you've never been, we hope you enjoy our tour video and seeing some of our favorite spots. Next to the parking lot is the sports field, and during the summer, this is where we play all camp games. And these wagons are what we use to transport luggage back to units on check-in days for summer camp, as well as big weekend events. In the sports field, you'll notice lots of flagpoles. This is where Mackinac Island Honor Guard troops practice before they head to the island. This is Hilltop. This is our newest lodge on camp, built in 2007. It's a really popular place for troops to stay on the weekend. And during summer camp, this is usually where our youngest campers stay. So most of our mini sessions um, stay here. And Hilltop is unique because it has separate, five separate sleeping pods around the outside and then two kitchens in this main area. All right, so now we'll go check out one of the sleeping pods. So each one has a different capacity. So either eight, four, or 12. And this is one of the eight person pods. So you can see the bunk beds as well as lots of great places for storage. This is Hunter Lodge, our dining hall, and this is where we eat all of our meals together during summer camp and also lots of encampments, our big weekends events, weekend events, we'll use this for program space as well as meals. And the view from inside Hunter is my favorite view on camp. Behind the dining hall is what we call the singing porch. This is where during summer camp, all of the campers and staff gather to sing songs and learn grace before every meal. This is our camp office. So this is where the leadership team works during the summer and where I work sometimes in the off season. And this is our trading post or our camp store to the right. And then on the other side of the road is what we call our health office. And we use that for summer camp. This is Alan. This is the closest lodge to the parking lot. It sleeps 36 people and like all of our other lodges, it has a full kitchen, but this one actually has two separate bathrooms. The village is a unit of three season cabins that sometimes we use when it's warmer. And we also like to use this pavilion for arts and crafts during the summer. This is the Donkey Bridge, and this goes through our super cool wetland area at camp, and it leads down to the lake and also to Ferry Village. So this is Lake Louise. This is our waterfront at Camp Linden. So troops can add on boating to their weekend stay. We have canoes, kayaks, uh, rowboats, and paddle boats. And we also do a lot of boating uh, during summer camp. And then over here is where we have all of our opening and closing campfires during the summer. This is Ruth. Uh, Ruth sleeps 24. And again, we use it a lot on the weekends and we also use it for campers during summer camp. This is the sledding hill. This is a super popular spot at camp when there's snow on the ground. 
And for some of our bigger events, like Jamboree or Me and My Gal, this is where we'll have campfires. This is Rainbow Ridge, and it's a platform tent unit with one three-season cabin. And this is available for troops to rent in the late um, spring and early fall. It's also where girls and high adventure programs stay during the summer for a summer overnight camp. And then across the road is another platform tent unit with a three-season cabin, Cottonwood Corners. And in the back, you can kind of see that gray building, which is what we call the Cotton Rainbow Shower House. So girls staying in platform tents can have hot showers. This is Esther. Esther sleeps uh, 36, and it was actually the original dining hall on camp. I really like Esther because it's got a really big green space that troops can use for lots of different activities when they rent Esther for the weekend. This is Deerfield, and Deerfield is a unit of three season cabins. This is my favorite unit on camp. There's lots of open green space. As you can see, Ollie loves it too. And during summer camp, this is where our girls enrolled in horse programs stay. So this is our climbing wall. It's another popular activity for troops to choose to do on the weekends. And we use it a lot for summer camp. So this is where our horses are during the summer. They don't actually arrive until May, but you can see the arena and then out there is the pasture where they graze. So here at Camp Linden, we lease 10 horses for the summer. This is our new rifle and BB gun range here at Camp Linden. It used to be known as Darby's or the Day Camp Pavilion uh, back when Linden did day camp but we have repurposed, repurposed it to use it for shooting sports. So this is a really cool space because girls actually shoot from the inside. And yeah, we've started using it on weekends with troops and we are so excited to offer this new activity for summer camp. Ketchum Cove is a small primitive site between Esther and the pool. So this is a great spot during the summer or even the spring where girls can practice uh, backpacking and pitching tents without having to travel too far. So the pool is obviously a very popular spot during the summer. Um, you can see the shower house in the back. We primarily use it for summer overnight camp, but some of those early summer encampments use it as well. Sherwood Forest is another one of our platform tent units. Um, this is a really special place because during the summer it's where our CITs or our counselor and training program lives. So that's a leadership development program for girls in high school. And we teach them all the skills that they need to know to be an awesome camp counselor. And there's also a really cool tradition. So I'm gonna walk to the pavilion and show you. So whenever girls finish their two weeks in the counselor and training program, they get to sign their name. And so if you look up, you can see names from 2008, 2010, I see a 2007, and I've even had some alumni come back and visit so that they could re-sign their name when it started to fade. So I think that's pretty cool. So down here is the Peace Pole, and soon we'll be making a video just about the Peace Pole and talking about um, kind of the history of it and some traditions we hope to bring back. But this is really just a quiet spot on camp where troops or girls during the summer can come to do some yoga, meditate, and things like that. So Edith is the farthest back lodge from main camp. It sleeps 
36, and it was actually named after the first CIT director. So Tall Timbers is our last platform tent unit. And then you can see at the end of Tall Timbers, uh, this trail actually leads back towards the Monkey Bridge and the Meadows, which we will go to next. The last spot on our tour is the Monkey Bridge. So this is a special place at Camp Linden. And if you've been coming here for a long time, you'll know that the Monkey Bridge actually used to be a lot skinnier than it is now. Uh, this monkey bridge is fairly new and underneath the monkey bridge is Cranberry Creek and from uh, Lake Louise you can get on boats and you can actually pass um, under the monkey bridge and then if you keep paddling eventually you'll hit a primitive campsite called Paradise Point. So we send quite a few campers uh, there in the summer so that is another special spot that maybe we'll have to visit at another video. So we hoped you enjoyed your tour of Camp Linden and that you are going to come to camp soon and see some of these cool spots for yourself.